What's up Bearcats, senior punter James Smith here. As Friday night approaches with our Friday the 13th game against ECU, it is senior night and it can be an emotional time for some of our players. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get around the seniors, ask them a bit about some of their fun memories that they've had at UC and what they're gonna miss most about leaving this place. So Bruno, we're approaching what might be our final game in Nippet Stadium on Friday night. What's some of your fondest memories while being here in the Nip? I have to say UCF last year will be in the top three for sure. UCF last year was a really big one. At the beginning of the game, they had the lights on everyone's phones they were playing, so that was that was really cool to, to see. UCF at home last year, amazing. Easy. Like what I love about like I guess playing here is looking up to my parents in the stands. That's my best, I guess, memory I have is just seeing them looking back at me. So much I'm gonna miss. Definitely we didn't have it this year, but the crazy atmosphere, the, the amazing fans that we have. Fourth quarter when Ron Burgundy comes on the screen, they do shout, 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 yeah, shout yeah, that's, it, gets, that's, it gets, the, gets me going. Absolute game changer, game changer. Just playing the nip, man, it's something special. Every game is something special. We won 19 in a row, so I've been winning for a long time here, and I just had yeah, to be hell riding the nip. I would say we're a very close group. Our whole senior class and the team in general, what's some of the things you're gonna miss most about being around some of the guys? Uh, the locker room, majorly. That's what connects us together, and probably is what I'm gonna be missing the most afterwards, for sure. Just being so close to each other, like we around each other every day, just having that brotherhood outside of your family. I mean, obviously being with the guys, like the D-line, like the unit, all that, just the friends I've made the last four years here and stuff, I mean, you can't replicate that anywhere else. What's one of the things you're gonna miss about being around all the guys every day. I'm just gonna miss, uh, you know, being with my teammates, you know. You know, it went by fast, you know, we gotta enjoy every moment of it. Just joking around, you joke on each other every day, but then when it's time to work, we work. You know, being able to correct each other, then build each other up every day. Workouts when you come back in the locker room, and then you notice like, dang, all that was worth it, and the brotherhood and love we have with each other. Here, it's all family, and the next level it is isn't gonna be uh, all family, so I'm really gonna miss you getting guys like Jimmy cracking on me every day. And... Memories with like the friends and the uh, relationship I built while being here. Like messing around and being goofy. So that's what I'm gonna miss the most, just being around the guys. Yeah, I mean, just like in the locker room, hanging out with the guys, the banter, if you will. Um, you know, just messing with people, razzing them up, I guess is how the cool kids say it. Just that, that's, you know, what I'm gonna miss. You are definitely a good razzer, so I will, I will sure give you that one. Thank you. I'm here with James Smith, a.k.a. Jimmy, the one and only P1. What has your, this is your senior night, it's a big night. Can you talk a little bit about your experience here at UC? Uh, it's been unreal since the first day I've been here. Couldn't have thought of it going any better myself. I've made some unreal friendships, guys that are gonna be my closest friends for the rest of my life sort of thing. And, and to think that if I never came over or took the chance to be here, I would never would have made those relationships or had that opportunity. So that's definitely something that I'm very thankful for. I'm thankful you came here too. And I'm thankful I met you, Jake. Thank you. Here with senior safety Derek Forrest, the El Capitan. What's a highlight that sticks out to you whilst you've been here at Cincinnati? I'll say the game winning pick last year against Temple. That was really a big play in my career and it was a big play for the team. So I'll say that's like the play that stands out the most to me. When we played Tulsa, it, it, it was just, you know, one of my best performances I've had. Something for the viewers back home. How many touchdowns did you have that game? You know, not to brag, I only had three. Hmm. Uh, two on the ground, one in the air, I believe. Yeah, yes, sir. Mm. Sounds, sounds like you've been doing your, your research. Man. I keep up to date with my star players. It will be the SMU walk-off pick six. Unreal. <laughs> Can we get that playing now? Yeah. <laughs> Good. What's a personal play of yourself that sticks out the most? Probably against USF when I caught two interceptions. That would be one right there. You, you would say you were feeling yourself that game for sure? Oh, yeah, definitely. What are some of the things you're going to miss most about potentially running out on Nippet Stadium for the last time? Just knowing that the city behind us, you know, I'm from Cincinnati, so it's a special night for me. Brotherhood that I created here, bonds with each other, you know, the grind that we put in, you know, just the championship vibes, just the winning vibes that we got back on here in the city. Coming in here, it wasn't even a right team. So now that we get to lead a, leave a legacy, I think that's probably the, the biggest impact that I feel that's going, to live, that's going to stay with me for a long time. Do you think it's going to be an emotional night for you on Friday? Uh, yes, actually, because, I mean, it might be my last time playing football. Forever, and it's just like, 
doing something you love for all these years and then it's the last time it's just something special out here. Do you think you'll be crying and will you allow me to cry with you? Uh, I might shed a couple of tears, but I don't like to cry in front of people. And more than likely, yeah, it's gonna be there. You know, I'm gonna try to fight it back, of course. It, you know, it's always Look, if you need a shoulder to cry on, I'll be there. It's always bittersweet. <laughs>